was, I, I was conscious of being provocative and deliberately so. And uh, I, I think a few eyebrows were raised, especially when I juxtaposed the stock for the same with the butcher. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Didn't I? Oh, no, no, Tobacconist. 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 Oh, that's right. And who else? There was tax another consultant. Hmm? Tax consultant. Tax consultant. I mean, I assume that the tax consultant would be basically dishonest and would be helping you find loopholes. So. I was just being a bit provocative. But I was very conscious of that at that time of the power of money. Yeah? I, I, I remember a very vivid experience. Uh, uh, I'm not sure whether I was, I was walking or being driven, you know, by a friend through the city of London. Perhaps I hadn't been, been through it in that sort of way, you know, before since my return to, uh, to England. And this was in the early days of the, you know, the FW Gap. And I really became conscious of the sort of power of mammon. And seeing all these enormous uh, buildings, these banks and insurance companies, all around, eh? and uh, it was, I, mean, I had a sort of very uh, strong experience of oppressiveness and just the, the sheer power and weight of, of money, of capital. Eh? And uh, I said to the, 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 the person who was with me, well, this is what actually we're up against. Eh? Hmm? So it may have been that my remarks in this, in, in this lecture were based to some extent on you know, that sort of feeling, one of the feeling that I, I've had you know, been going through the city of London. I remember it was a very vivid uh, sort of experience. So, so I felt something sort of quite tangibly as it were, all this sort of clotted wealth. Mm -hmm. There was no intention to condemn all the stockbrokers. <laughs> Well, no, obviously. Well, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not <laughs> sure because, I mean, stockbroking is part of the, the capitalist system. It would depend on one's evaluation of the capitalist system. Um, I, I can't really say I believe in capitalism, but I can't say that I really believe in what some people believe is the alternative to capitalism. All those systems seem pretty unsatisfactory. You look on the uh, look to, on the one you know, hand to the United States, uh, and you look to Soviet Russia. Well, well they, they both had very unsatisfactory uh, features. It's something difficult to know you know which system one would really choose to live under. I, I suppose in the long run, one, one would probably opt for the United States, but you know, rather regretfully or not very happily, because at least. Apparently, you could speak your mind a bit more than you can in the in, in Soviet Russia. Because on your end, in Soviet Russia, you don't have advertisements. There's a lot to be said for that. Also, you've got lots of nice, kind people running the country for you. You know, it's well, got me on your own private life. Well, no point. <laughs> Thank you. 